The advancements of a prehistoric planet have been lost to history, but the rediscovery of what once was shows us advancements well beyond what our cultural upbringing will allow us to give credit to. History needs re-examined to the point that it should be reconsidered that throughout the course of time, the things that can withstand the ages are the messages of a past civilization that were exposed to cataclysmic conditions. The megalithic undertakings are the most remarkable achievements from a time that history has allowed us to forget. The influence of the gods, the separation occurs, the construction begins, but the point of the matter is lost. The rewriting of history has begun. The effort to recover and remember the past are the clues to the future. And in India, again, we are confronted by a monumental discovery of a waterway that is dating to prehistoric times. Wait till you hear this. Marine archaeologists discovered the remains in the Gulf of Cambay, off the western coast of India. Using sonar scanning technology, which sends a beam of sound waves down to the bottom of the sea, they identified huge geometrical structures. The vast region, which measures five miles long and two miles wide, was thought to predate the oldest known remains in the subcontinent by more than 5,000 years, but has been the subject of contention. Speaking on the discovery, Graham Hancock made the following remarks, saying, the end of the Great Ice Age shaped the world we live in today, when a mass of water poured into the ocean as the ice caps melted and sea levels rose all of a sudden by 400 feet. And it's possible that this mass flooding could have been the inspiration for hundreds of flood myths from all around the world. In the Indian region, new evidence from the bottom of the sea is showing substance to the flood myth. This is the Gulf of Cambay in Northwest India, where in late 2001, scientists conducting pollution studies made an astonishing accidental discovery 25 miles from the shore. At a depth of 120 feet, they picked up traces of an ancient city covering a large area of the seabed, and that discovery threatened to overturn everything that archaeologists believed about the origins of civilization as we know it. They found a city the size of Manhattan with massive walls and plazas, and man-made objects from the submerged cities have yielded carbon dates up to 9,500 years old, and that's 5,000 years older than any city discovered by archaeologists anywhere, which means we are dealing with a civilization lost at the end of the last ice age. Perhaps even one of those that the flood myth speaks of, which flourished before history ended, and the time as we know it began. Debris recovered from the site, including construction material, pottery, sections of walls, beads, sculpture, and human bones were carbon dated, but not without controversy. One major complaint is that artifacts at the site were recovered by dredging. Instead of being recovered during a controlled archaeological excavation, and this has led to some experts to claim that these artifacts cannot be definitively tied to a site, especially as the Gulf is connected to many rivers. Due to this, several prominent archaeologists rejected a piece of wood that was recovered and dated to 7500 BC as having any significance in dating the site in particular. Chairman of the Paleoclimate Group and founder of Carbon-14 Testing Facilities in India, Dr. D.P. Arghwal explained in an article in Frontline Magazine that the piece was dated twice at separate laboratories. The National Geophysical Research Institute returned a date of 7,190 BC, and the Barbal Shani Institute of Paleobotany returned a date of 7,545 BC. Dr. Arghwal contested that the discovery of an ancient piece of wood implies the discovery of an ancient civilization. He argued that the wood piece is a common find, given that 20,000 years ago, the Arabian Sea was 100 meters lower than its current level, and that the gradual sea level rise submerged entire forest. 
Instead, most agree that the divers simply found a large cache of archaeological remains spread across the area, but what do you guys think about this one anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.